Welcome back and welcome to my April book haul. I know I did say I was going to upload this as quickly as possible next to my um, book shopping the UK video that I uploaded. If you haven't seen that one already, I'll leave it linked up here. Um, but I was waiting on a parcel that I knew contained books coming through. It was supposed to get here on Saturday. This is now Wednesday and it's just got here so um this is why i'm filming late at night with less light here um because i wanted to show you the books that i got in april i have some books that were sent to me by publishers i have some books that were sent to me by friends and i have some books that i bought whilst i was book shopping back in the uk so firstly the <laughs> elusive book that i was waiting for um it came with some awesome swag which i will show you as well but it is I Heart Hawaii, the final book in the I Heart series. This is a numbered proof copy, um, and which says I Heart Lindsay on it, and then has all the other I Heart locations in passport style stamps here. This is the spine with actual I Heart Hawaii on, and then this is what the cover is going to look like. It came with, um, a gorgeous bookmark, double-sided, which I will obviously use when I'm reading it. It also came with a wicked postcard and a little letter from Lindsay, which is also in this gorgeous envelope here. And so I can continue to represent Lindsay Kelk here in Denver. It also came with an awesome tote bag, an I Heart Hawaii tote bag, with of course Harper Collins and Lindsay's Twitter handle and the hashtag on here as well. Well, I suppose it's Instagram handle as well. How cool is that? <sighs> I'm so grateful to Harper Collins for sending me that. I'm so excited to read it. I just need to finish reading the other books first, <laughs> then I can jump right into that. Um, I also have a video talking about my rereading of the books when I reread them two years ago for when I Heart Forever came out. So I will leave that linked up here. Um, and I have a blog, blog post talking about my journey through the I Heart series because Lindsay talks about how it's been 10 years and how her life has changed so much over the I Heart series, but I feel like mine did too. And the books were kind of there with me along the journey. So just very excited to have that. Just very excited. Um, Avon Hab Collins also sent me a copy of TikTok by Mel Sherat. Um, this is obviously a crime thriller. Um, and I believe Mel's moved publishers. So I think this is her first book with Avon. Uh, maybe Hush Hush was her first book with Avon, um, but I'm on the blog tour for this one. I believe I'm sharing an extract, so that will be exciting. My blog, as always, is linked in the description box below, so you can go and check that out for some more information about that book. Um, then, this is kind of really old news because I made a whole video talking about this book, but I hadn't hauled it yet. So I got a copy of The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. In case you're thinking, but you already hauled that book, Katrina. I hauled a proof copy of it. This is a finished copy and I got my finished copy all signed. It is a gorgeous finished copy. It has these beautiful end pages, this holographic lettering here. And yes, I did go and meet Ashley and get this signed and she had silver sharpies to sign with as well. I made a whole video reviewing this book and showing you what happened at that book event. So I will leave that linked up here uh, so you can go away and watch that. Quirk Books has just been fabulous at sending me books recently. They sent me the finished copy of that one. Love them for that. Then they sent me this glorious a Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood, which is the poetry of Mr. Rogers, and it's just absolutely beautiful. The book itself is lovely. I love the illustrations. It has um, glorious end papers with the Won't You Be My Neighbour song. And you know I'm new to the whole Mr. Rogers thing. Uh, I loved watching the documentary about him, and um, 
I am very excited about the biopic. I think it's coming out this year with Tom Hanks as him. Um, and I kind of wish I'd grown up watching it because some of these poems are just so gorgeous. I mean, look at this page, like look at the illustrations, look at the actual poem. Like, I love to shine. I love to shine. I love to let what's, what's in me shine outside. It's just beautiful. I absolutely loved reading this one. This book smells really good as well. I know you can't smell it over there, but um, it just, it yeah, it smells really good. Thought you would want to know that. So thank you Quirk for that one. And then they also sent me, um, I've misplaced one of them, but they sent me William Shakespeare's Much Ado About Mean Girls. And they also sent me William Shakespeare's Back to the Future. Um, which, yeah, I don't know where I put it. I think it might be in the car because I was reading it. But these are um, the scene and act pages with this little kind of illustrated bit. And then there's illustrations um, on the pages as well. So we have the illustration of the burn book here. Um, and I did read this in the month of April and I did really enjoy it. I think you do need a little bit of background for the film um or a little bit of background in shakespearean english to be able to fully enjoy it thankfully i know the film really well um but it's quite a quick read because obviously it's a shakespeare play uh but for mean girls so again thank you to quirk for both of those um like i say the other one i believe is in the car because i was reading it very recently and um then if you follow me on instagram you may have seen these books mentioned on there because Austin Macaulay got in touch and asked if I wanted to interview this author and they sent me a copy of her two most recent books um, and that is Pamela D. Holloway. So they sent me Blood in the Snow um, and they sent me Claire's Story. Uh, Claire's story is um, after an unusual upbringing, Claire decides to leave her Edinburgh home and travel to visit her old school friend who lives on Vancouver Island. Once there, she palms off her son, having persuaded him to pretend his father is dead. She sets out to find a job and a wealthy husband and eventually finds both. She finds herself in a very dangerous situation. Her life is threatened. A prison sentence is likely can she find someone to believe her so it sounds incredibly dramatic they both sound really dramatic um but they're very they're super shiny um so i was very excited to receive copies of these and the interview with the author is live on my blog already as i say it is linked in the description box always if you want to go and read that uh, then a couple that were sent to me by lovely, lovely friends. Um, the first of these is a book that isn't even out yet. This was sent to me by an Instagram friend of mine. She had a proof copy. She got sent a finished copy. So she sent me her proof because she knows I love this author. So thank you very much, Tracy, for sending me Mrs. Everything. It's the new Jennifer Weiner novel. This one comes out on the 11th of May here in the U 11th of June here in the US. I believe it's the same day or similar in the UK. That's what I've been able to find so far. I have no clue what it's about, but it's the new Jennifer Weiner novel. So I'm going to be reading that and I'm going to be enjoying it. So there we go. And I'm excited that it's a proof copy as well because these are so much easier to read. Um, not saying I won't necessarily buy the finished copy because I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. And then, this is going to sound really bad, but I got this book when I was back in the UK in September from my lovely friend Zarina and I literally just couldn't fit it in my suitcase. I thought I was going to be able to bring it back with me at Christmas, but my suitcase at Christmas ended up being overweight even without this book in there. So I'm holding it now. I brought it back with me when I went, came back at the beginning of April. Um, so that this one is A Sky Painted Gold by Laura Wood. And this is just so shiny. You can't even like fully appreciate the shininess of this book. She thought that I would really like this. When Lou steals inside the Grand Kaju house in the dreamy summer of 1929, she is drawn into the lives of Kaju siblings, glittering whirlwind Caitlin and handsome enigmatic Robert. But as Lou is swept into their dazzling world of moonlit parties, unrivaled glamour and whispered secrets, can she stay true to herself? 
and her heart. Um, so I just, I like the sound of this one. She thought I would like it, so she passed it on to me and, and now I'm showing it to you because it's finally in the same country as me. Um, I feel bad for leaving it behind, but I literally couldn't fit it in at the time. And then finally we have some books that I bought on my escapades in some UK bookshops. I have a copy of the musical edition of The Creakers by Tom Fletcher. You might remember me saying that in December I listened to and read the musical edition of The Christmas Christmas Horus and the book itself is just gorgeously illustrated and has little marks in, if I can try and find one, for when you are supposed to play the song. So here's a good example of the illustrations and then here you can see it says play song two. So you're reading, reading, reading and you play song two and try and keep reading. And I don't even know what The Creakers is about, but I enjoyed the Christmas Christmasaurus experience so much that when I saw this in Tesco's when I was back home, I bought it, I popped it in my trolley and it came to the till with me. Um, another book I kind of sort of impulse bought um, is actually one that by the time this video goes up, I will have already read it because it was on my May TBR. And as of filming this video, I am about three-fifths of the way through and that is Jack of Hearts and Other Parts by L.C. Rosen. This is a young adult novel. I would say it is older young adult because it has a lot and lot of sex and swearing in it um, and it is about um, Jack who is openly gay and quite open about his sex life and he starts a sex advice column in his friends on his friend's website and things kind of start going a little bit less than perfect for him. This origami heart on the front cover is a clue to something in the story and that's all I'm going to say. I'm really enjoying it and I'm really glad that I bought it. I actually ended up listening to it on audiobook because my library had it on audiobook so I'm really enjoying it. Then I got myself a copy of the Waterston special edition of On The Come Up by Angie Thomas. You might remember this time last year me saying got myself the Waterston special edition of The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas because of the sprayed edges. Saw this in the shop. Look at those sprayed edges. So now I have the US hardback and the Waterston special edition paper, UK paperback of both The Hate You Give and On The Come Up. I made a whole video talking about how much I love On The Come Up. I will leave it up here so if you haven't already watched that. And then another Waterstons special edition. I actually didn't get this whilst I was book shopping in the UK. I ended up ordering this from Waterstons and having it shipped to me here in Denver because I was excited to have a copy of it after reading a NetGalley copy that I got for review. And that is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. This again, is the Waterston Special Edition. All of this font here is raised and we've got this gold here with the two different cups of tea that's a clue to something in the book and then the spine has the tea on as well and the raised gold writing. This writing is shiny and raised and then we have the sprayed edges to match with the font of the title. I mean just could it be any more glorious and then um, it is a signed edition and, and as if that wasn't enough, I've got my, my receipt in here. It's got the, um, the ad that he places for the flat share in there, in this lovely end pages section. And the naked book is gray, in case you're wondering. It's like a third color. How cool is that? So yeah. So I ordered that for myself because it's beautiful so it can go up on my signed bookshelf along with my other beautiful signed books. And then finally another one which I have already talked about in a video, I made a whole video talking about this one so I'll leave it linked up here if I've still got enough to link up here, if not I'll link it in the description box. And that is Sleep by C.L. Taylor. Um, I read an ebook copy of this one and I was also sent a proof copy to my address in the UK but this is her first hardback so I knew I had to go out and buy the hardback because I love it so much um, and in my video I show you the inside as well so may as well show you the inside now 
um, nice dark blue end papers. And then, little extra bit on the inside. Here's reason enough to buy the hardback. Uh, yes, if you do want to buy the hardback, I will leave a link in the description box below. This this book's amazing. Go and watch my video and I'll tell you all about why it's amazing. So there you have it. Some books that I bought when I was UK book shopping. Some books that have been sent to me by lovely publishers. And some books that have been sent to me by lovely friends as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this book haul. My April book haul, even though a couple of those books came today, which is the first of May. That's not my fault, that's DHL's fault. Nobody else apart from their fault. Um, let me know in the comments, what was the last book that you bought or received? Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed so that my next video lands in your subscription feed. Could be something really exciting. Um, and I will be back with another bookish video for you very soon. Another movie reviews video for you on Sunday. So I will see you then. Bye.